y'all. I have the first coats. I actually ended up putting three coats on here because I guess I went a little too uh, thin with the coats and you could still see through it a little bit. So, excuse me a minute. Carl, hush buddy. Harley, shh, it's mama. So I ended up putting three coats on here and it has a little bit of texture to it. It feels like it feels like so dry that every time I lift up my hand from rubbing it across and I feel like it should be chalky looking, but it's not. Nothing's coming off. This is what the next coat looks like inside the lid. See, you can see all the stone flecks and everything in there. And I was wondering how we were going to go from the light color that's on here now into the canyon gold that I was looking for. So that's what the base looks like here. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let me find some place to put it. Then I started mixing it up. If you were watching earlier, you'll remember that I put this upside down the whole time so that the flakes would come to the other end. I don't know why I had imagined that this was going to be thin. <laughs> I have imagined everything wrong here. But see how it's thick, but it's clumpy it's got a lot of the stone flecks down in there and you are to stir them up really good and evenly distribute them i broke my stir stick working on it um you stir it in there to get that evenly distributed throughout and then we're going to apply it with the same brush and i've got a new roller uh pad but we're going to use the same uh, roller pan. What I did was put plastic wrap over it because I didn't clean it like I was supposed to earlier. But I've reached through to the bottom here, and I apologize for the dogs. It's, it might just be going be to what it's going to be. And But I've got this mixed up really well, and I'm going to put a decent amount in here. We're going to go with a couple of coats here on this as well. I don't know why they're wanting to bark. They've been in there the whole time. Let's see. Try to get the excess out of the lid using the brush here. And I just splattered some on the floor out here. And wiped it right up. Okay, so I've got some, and it said to do it in the same way here as it did earlier. Let me see if I can move you a little bit closer. There we go for that corner. And it just look, really looks like a mud pie. A bunch of sand mixed in with it. And we're going to do the same thing we did earlier about getting the corners and areas that will be hard for the roller to get into and making sure to dab plenty of this in there. And I'm using, and it didn't say to do it this way, I'm using a little bit of a dab in motion, applying this on here to make sure that plenty of the little stone pieces get on here because I'll be sanding after this anyway. So any of the excess texture that the dabbing adds on here, I'll smooth out later. So this is applying the Canyon Gold color and the stone flex at the same time. And it really is just like a mud pie. Well, you know what? Even if I just go over it this way, just changed my mind. Going over it with, in the paintbrush method, it's leaving plenty. It's leaving plenty of flex on there. That's what I was really worried about. Golly, that looks cool. I'll bring you a little closer in just a second. I almost want to get 
all the way to the end here. And it said in the instructions to use the, you know, the brush for the crevices and the corners and the inlays, but also any area that's, you know, too hard to get to with the brush and stuff like that, which is the area behind the sink here. Looking at the sample, you can see where it's going to end up with all kinds of different colors of flecks of the stone in there when we're through. Stuff like this just really amazes me. Trying to get the hard areas. Well, I guess you can't even see where I'm working right now. Trying to get the hard areas first. I'm getting behind the sink here. And this will have two coats. But it seems like when I'm pulling it here with the brush now, the thinner that I pull it, the more that the stone flex lay down on there. And the color's great. Very neutral. So I'll be able to have this for a while. Even if I change my mind on the wall color later on, this neutral's still going to look good. Just gonna go through and get inside this seam all the way around here. I'm gonna go all the way to the end here. And I know this part's not on the camera, but I'll show you whenever we get around. back around this way and is that the canyon gold now this one is coriander cream that's a really pretty color too okay what it said to do with the roller now is to do a little bit of a cross hatch says to really saturate it good. Just want you to make sure that you can see how how many of those specks must be in there to get it that sort of granular looking. Why is it that paint rollers always like get the paint on one side and then don't want to roll it off of the other? Okay. Put on a little roll, put on a little roll. I'm trying not to put it on too, too thick. And remember that we're going to have a second coat anyway. What the instruction said to do was if it looks too thick in an area, like it looks very thick here and very thin there, is, and this is pretty common sense here too. But you just roll and roll and roll back over those areas to kind of spread them a little more and smooth them a little more. You get the face color of the Canyon Gold everywhere. Then I'm going to reach back in here and get some more of the stone pieces. I 
get those on here and then try to kind of flatten it out. I'm not wanting it to be completely even everywhere because natural stone isn't completely even everywhere. You can definitely see the difference in this already. That's cool. It looks like, right this minute up close, it looks like concrete, where you have concrete with a little bit of the gravel and sand and rough things like that in it and a little bit of like a pitted looking surface. That's what this looks like right now. After we get two coats of this on here and it dries, we will sand back any of the excess flex with either the 120 grit sandpaper that they supplied. You can put that with a sanding block or something like that if you want. Or use a random orbital sander to sand more at the same time, which is probably what I'll do because I like to play with the toys. I mean the tools. <laughs> It does tend to stick together in lumps like, like it just offloaded all the, the majority of the little stone pieces in one area there. So I'm going to cross hatch here a little to try to spread this out before I move on. And I'm pulling a little bit hard, but it also said after you get it kind of distributed how you want it there then you can go back and forth over it with an even pressure to get it to lay down try to get a little bit more this is so cool looking I hope that it's coming across on the video. I'll take pictures afterward if you're not getting a good sort of sense of what it looks like through the video. There will be pictures. I'm now just doing a firm, even roll, and that's for... You know, these are stone flecks, so some of them may be like glitter, how it'll stick up there now and then, and you'll have some rough patches and stuff. That's what we're working to smooth out right now so that we won't have as much to have to do with the sander later. Can you, okay, that mostly is done. I'm going to try to move this down to where you can see a little bit of what has and hasn't been done. See the difference there of where the texture's already on there and then the area that had just the base coat. And I still have just that same amount right here in my roller. This is extremely easy. It's not taking... A whole lot of thought it's not taking creativity it's not taking effort it's very simple and it's happening very quick obviously getting up next to the sink real good this is probably the simplest type of makeover project like this that I've had and it looks completely different just within minutes. Doesn't always take a whole lot to impress me, but I'm impressed. I shall say, I'm impressed.
trying to do an even stroke there to spread that out. And remember the cross hatch. This looks like real stone already that I'm just blown away. It's not taking a whole lot of worrying about, oh, let's put a little bit here and a little bit there. The roller is doing everything. I'm pulling just to sort of stretch that out a little. I'm going to get a little bit more to try to get more of the stone flex. Just push them around a little while, a little bit with that cross hatch pattern. I'm fixing to order the gray for that other bathroom probably this weekend. This was too dang easy. This was periwinkle. <laughs> this was a bluish purple color just a couple of hours ago. I'm going to give this coat, now I'm just kind of pulling and rolling to kind of flatten it out real good. I'm going to give this coat a couple of hours to dry. I'm going to come back and apply another coat just like it, doing the same exact thing that we're doing here. Although this is great coverage, if this is all I had, this would already be plenty. but I'm going to add more. But it doesn't even matter if I've got more there and less there. It looks so dang natural. Let's see if I can back you up a little bit while I get this edge right here. Flex. I think, I mean, I didn't like research it to death here or anything. I think that these, these flex are actual pieces of real stone. So that was just about the right amount, and that was probably a quarter of the container. that I put in here in my rolling pan. I'm not pushing so hard that it makes my roller hang up and want to slide. You know how your roller will do that sometimes. I and I can be kind of heavy handed sometimes, but I'm trying my best not to do that. Looking to make sure I don't have any runs or anything crazy like that going on. I 
I like this so much. I'm I'm going to go to the man cave and tell my husband right now to come over here and look. I'm excited for that. I think it looks good. I'll take a picture now and I'll post it later. I'll get a picture when it dries and then I'm going to get ready for the second coat and I'll put that on tonight to where what we'll do in the morning is sand it and then get ready to put the first top coat on. This is going quick. This is this is, this is how you change the whole look of your bathroom. This could have been a tabletop. This could have been a top of a piece of furniture. This could have been, you know, your kitchen counters. Whatever you wanted to do. This is quick and easy. I'm impressed. So, thanks for watching and keep watching. And I'll have a video part three coming soon. Bye.